Hello, my name is Sophie Budd from Taste Buds Cooking Studio and today I'm going to be making a Better Spuds Cashmere Gold Mash. So you can buy the Cashmere Gold as the Premier Potato or you can get these really awesome value bags. I've peeled the potatoes, cut them into even sizes. So when you're making a mash, um, as long as they're the, the same size, that's the most important thing. If you're in a hurry, cut them smaller. If you've got a bit more time, cut them bigger. I've boiled them until I put a knife in the biggest potato and it crumbles apart, so I know that that's cooked. Put them through a colander and let them steam for a couple of minutes, getting rid of all of the excess moisture. Now I'm going to put the spuds in there. A little bit of butter. Some cream. So I'd say that's about three tablespoons of butter, a couple of dribbles of cream, and for me, mash has to have a decent amount of salt. So a nice big pinch of salt in there too. What can happen is you get a bit distracted when you're cooking and your spuds may go a little bit cold and that makes them harder to mash. So I'm going to put the heat on underneath the pot and just give these a good mash. Okay, I know my mash is ready because it's really creamy and smooth. All the butter and cream has um, been combined into the mash and I'm just going to have a little taste and check the seasoning. That is how easy it is to make a quick mash. A uh, traditional masher is great if you have a mouli or a potato rice, so you're going to get a much finer mashed potato. But it's up to you, a good old fashioned masher will do the job. <laughs> 